Are you wondering how you can lose weight without dieting? Maybe you've done Weight Watchers, Whole30, Optiva before and it worked for a while, but it didn't stick. Do you want to shift towards healthier eating so that you can feel better and be healthier on the inside? Well, today I'm going to be talking all about some of these missing pieces from diets and how you can start to lose weight without dieting. If you guys haven't, listen to the episode right before this, episode number 85. I talked about my healthy habit reset, and this episode breaks down a little bit more of healthy habits, and this is really the backbone, not dieting, and really having a sustainable way to get healthy and to lose weight. And before we get started, I want to tell you guys real quick about my healthy habit reset. So you guys can do this at any time. There's going to be a link in the description down below where you can sign up and you're going to get a full workbook where you can do a five-day healthy habit reset, really start to build those foundations of healthy habits. And if you guys are catching this live, I'm going to be hosting this healthy habit reset as a free challenge in my Facebook group, Healthy Beyond 40. So if you guys aren't, make sure you head to Facebook join the group Healthy Beyond 40, and we're going to hold this as a free challenge. The challenge is going to start on February 12th, and so it will be in the Facebook group. There's going to be a daily accountability post. I'm also going to have some prizes and pick some winners because I love winning prizes myself, so I think it is a fun way to host a challenge. So invite some friends, join the group, be part of this challenge, and really start changing your health one healthy habit at a time. So check the description down below. I have all the links and I always like to share different episodes and my favorite things down in the description. So make sure you guys check that out. Hi friends and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four and military wife. And I'm passionate about helping women get healthy from the inside out so they can feel better and live their best life. Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight and get in shape? If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably, then you're in the right place. I combine my expertise for my doctorate in physical therapy to my experience as a health coach, personal trainer, and yoga teacher to bring you actionable steps for a healthy lifestyle. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. So let's talk about some things that are missing from our normal dieting so that we can learn from them. So let's think about Weight Watchers. We're tracking points, which is really another way to just track calories. We're not really looking at eating healthy, although I think that's encouraged some, but it almost doesn't matter because everything just has a point or a certain calorie amount, and that's how we're going to eat. I remember my mom when I was young, I don't know if it was middle school, high school, she would go to her Weight Watcher meetings. And so even as a kid, watching my mom do that. It's some external way to control yourself and to control what you're eating and following a certain dieting plan. And I don't think that's what we want to teach our kids. We really want to teach them to eat healthy, to have a good relationship with food, that we don't need to diet. We might need to shift their way we're eating to something that is more nourishing and healthier for our bodies but we don't have to count calories or count points. And really from a nutrition standpoint, calories are important, but that's not all that matters. For example, protein. Our body takes more energy to break that down so we don't absorb all those calories. So a calorie is not always equal. It depends how our metabolism is functioning too. Let's take another plan that I've talked to quite a few people and they have tried and it hasn't worked is Optivia. So that is where you're eating their granola bar snacks, their food most of the day, every two to three hours. I think you get one meal a day with protein and a vegetable, but you're eating a lot of processed food. You're really not eating enough calories. So again, this is a calorie-based diet plan. And it's really not healthy when you're eating all that processed food. You're not giving your body those nutrients that it needs, those phytonutrients that we get from plants. We don't quite know enough about, especially in the general knowledge, but there is such a big impact on our hormones and things, the way that things function in our body when we're eating those whole foods that have these different 
chemicals and compounds that we don't even know the names to all of yet. Maybe some of the nutrition researchers do, but the general public, we do not know all of that. But just know that there are these powerful compounds in our whole food, our plants, our vegetables that are good for our body that we are meant to eat. Another one I've heard people talk about is Whole30. And so here we are eating cleaner and healthier, but the Whole30 was designed to be a short-term plan to more see if there's any sensitivities. And so the Whole30 is pretty restrictive. So it's something that people can't continue. So it has more a focus on eating healthy, but again, it's sort of more this diet, this short-term thing that people can't continue. So I want people to get to a place where we are eating healthy and it's something that we can continue. And I also want to talk about another missing piece in all of these diets and plans is that we are people, we are human. God created us with emotions and feelings and things pop up and go off beat. And then we get out of doing something and we haven't really changed what we're doing from a foundational standpoint. We just sort of slapped a diet or a plan on top of it. And so when life gets a little out of whack, we're not able to stay with that and have something to fall back on. So if we're following something that doesn't take into account us going on vacation or having anxiety or stress when we're going out to a party or having these other things that is what is missing. And that is where people fall off. And so that is something I work on with my health and nutrition coaching with my clients is really addressing these patterns that people have and these emotions that we have. If we don't address those and we slap a diet plan on top of it, we're not going to stay consistent with it. We're going to follow that diet plan, that nutrition plan, whatever it is, but eventually life's going to catch up to us. And these things that we didn't address are going to fall right back into place because they're a pretty strong pattern in our brain. So maybe your pattern is, I am stressed out, I eat. My kids are driving me crazy. I go for those crackers or those cookies, whatever it is. I'm anxious and I don't know how to handle these feelings, but that piece of chocolate makes me feel a lot better. Maybe I had a really hard week and I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy myself a treat because I deserve it. So if we don't address these patterns, when we come off of that diet or that plan, these are going to fall right back into place. And the tricky thing about this is it's not always like straightforward what we need to do to address it because it's a personal thing. Each of us is different. Those patterns for each of us are different. So that's really where coaching comes into play is being able to walk through those pieces, really figure out what's going on so that you can change that pattern that you've been living in your life. And for some of you, this has been since you were a kid, that you were stressed or you were sad and you grabbed for food or you were rewarded after a hard week or you did something hard. And so we need some time and some space to work through that. And that takes putting in some hard work and Even just the idea of it can be hard because you know that it's going to bring up some things for you and you have probably been avoiding that. And that's why when you're in coaching and you're in this safe place and you can work through these things, you actually feel so much better. It's like that fear of working on something hard that we've been avoiding and pushing down for a long time or most of our life can seem overwhelming. But when you actually get the right support, It is easier and more freeing. And man, is there a freedom on the other side. So guys, if this is you, I encourage you to reach out to me and set up a free call with me and see if health coaching would be right for you. If you're really, if you're ready to work on some of these deeper pieces and patterns that are in your life, because once you work on them, there's freedom on the other side. You've changed the patterns in your brain and you're able to choose differently and not be controlled anymore by food or whatever is right in front of you because you have the tools and you've changed that pattern in your brain to be able to handle those things, to be able to handle stress and have something else to do besides food or anxious or different ways to celebrate when you've had a hard week. So check the description down below if that sounds like you and you want to see if health coaching might help you. The other thing I want to touch on that the diets may be missing are What other things are you not seeing? A lot of times 
we just don't see things we're missing for ourselves. We can pick out those things in other people, but we have a hard time sometimes seeing what we're missing. So for example, maybe simple practical things like maybe the amount of protein you're eating isn't enough because we need protein for healing our body, for building muscles, for feeling full. So this is something I do with my clients. Let's take your body weight, calculate what the RDA for our like minimum requirement, and then what is an optimal range for health. It could also be things like looking, are we getting enough fiber? So many people don't have enough fiber. Let's calculate that. Let's look at some foods. Let's really work on our gut health. I like to take a special prebiotic fiber blend. I typically eat enough dietary fiber, but I take this prebiotic fiber blend. So I'm putting special fibers into my gut that help to feed certain good bacteria. So different types of fiber are going to feed different types of good bacteria. So I do take a small fiber supplement just to help build my gut health. For some people, they're going to take it just to increase their fiber intake, but I'm taking it to increase certain times, certain kinds of good gut bacteria. So if you guys want to know more about that, there will be a link down below. Also, inflammation is high in a lot of people. So diets don't really take into account inflammation. So if we're doing Weight Watchers and we're eating a lot of processed food, we're probably eating high in omega-6 and our inflammation is high. So we need to take account of what's going on in our body. Where is the inflammation in our body? How is the food we're eating affecting that? So I'm a big proponent of making sure we're getting enough omega-3s and testing your levels. So I've been recommending this to clients as they start. You guys can also do this at home, even without working at me, working with me, is get your omega levels tested. There's a simple blood test that you can do at home. Then you can start supplementing. You can retest and see like, is my omega-3 level at a good point? And omega-3s are highly anti-inflammatory. They bring the inflammation down. And our common American diet is really high in omega-6s. We need some of them, but it puts our body in this highly inflammatory state. So this is something that's sort of super easy you can do at home. So I encourage you guys to test your omega levels and making sure that you are supplementing with the right dose for your body because things like gut health, the way your body absorbs different things can affect your absorption of omega-3s. So check the description down below to find out more information about testing your omega-3s. Super simple thing you guys can do at home. And if you guys do sign up with my link, you're going to get a free call with me so that we can go through those practical tips and making sure the other things in your lifestyle are also helping to decrease that inflammation. The other thing that is missing in a diet plan is you're just following this thing. And sometimes we have other questions, we have other needs, and that's the difference of working with a person one-to-one makes a difference. So making sure that you're having healthy meals in your rotation. Do you have healthy breakfasts to eat each day? Because if we start our day well, that makes a big difference. Do you know how to make sure that your breakfast is quick and easy? Do you have ways to handle parties and weekends, because they're not talking about that in diet plans, but we are human, living in a human experience. So having some sheet that tells us what to do is not helpful for most of us. We have these dynamics that play out, and we need to know how to handle them for each of us, because each of us are going to be a little different. Each of us are going to have different things that affect us at parties. Maybe we feel uncomfortable talking to people, so we go for the food. Or maybe we just like love sweets and we're going for all the cake. So there's different things that are going to affect people in the same situation. And so we have to know how to deal with that ourselves. So what I want you guys to take away is that if diets have failed you in the past, it doesn't mean you have to keep failing. You need to do something different. I want you to think about why did those diets fail you? Is it missing this human piece? Is it missing these emotion and these different things? Is it missing that I'm going to parties and I'm struggling or weekends I struggle because I want to just do whatever I want? Am I missing practical pieces like how do I get more protein? How do I eat a healthier breakfast? How do I bring down this inflammation in my body or improve my gut health? So I want you to take some time, really think about what was failing and what do I need to do different? 
And I want you to be bold, be brave, to do something different, even if it seems hard, even if that means I might have to work through some of these anxious feelings that I'm having, or I might have to work through something that seems overwhelming. But trust me, when you actually work on those, there's so much freedom, freedom, and it's not as hard as you think it is. So I hope this sparks something in you guys. I encourage you to share this podcast with a friend, share it on social media. Let's get the word out to really help people become healthier and focus more on health. So you guys, if you need to lose weight, I want you to lose weight, but I want you to do it in a way that is healthy and that you can sustain so you can get off the yo-yo dieting. So let's help spread this message by sharing the podcast. And don't forget, come join the free challenge that's going to be taken in my Facebook group. And don't forget, you guys can also do that healthy habit reset anytime. Just check the link down below. All right, friends, keep on moving.